Uh, my name is Matt Walls, I'm the proprietor of MDM Electrical, um, we're electrical contractors. Hi, my name is Mark Irvin, I'm doing an electrical apprenticeship. We're in a domestic property at the moment. We have rewired the house originally, then he built an extension and we are back again wiring it. I've always been interested in building trade. I've done a few bits and pieces and the main one that I enjoyed was electrical work because um, you're never in one place at the same time. You can be on a job for a couple of days then get sent off, then you come back. You never know where you're going to be. And I think it's a um, really good job to get into. Well, originally I lived in London, then I moved to Kent and I had to leave my original job. And then I went hunting around for a job, got an apprenticeship with a company that I used to work for, and then had to go to college, and then here I am now. I'm doing a one day a week, it's for four years, and at the end of it I come out with a level two, level three qualification, an MV2 portfolio, and a AM2. My route was, I got made redundant from a previous job and retrained as an adult learner um, and continued from that. I think an adult learner, it's easier than a youngster um, because I think an adult learner has, has made the decisions that's what they want to do. Whereas a younger learner, they're, they're still, they're unsure. I mean, anybody can try and be an electrician, but very few people can do it very well. You know, and that's, that is, like I say, the difference between a good apprentice who's interested and who's keen who's eager to pick things up, who remembers what he's learned the previous day. Whereas somebody just turns up for work, you know, they can't be bothered. Our apprentice regularly gets site visits about every three months, um, just to check with myself, health and safety, etc. And also the college, you know, there's a lot of um, feedback from how he's doing at college. I mean, Mark actually won the apprentice of the year last year at South Kent College, so it speaks for itself, really. Mike has to meet certain exam levels as throughout the course, otherwise they don't go into the next year. So it's not like you start it and you finish four years later. It's you're um, assessed as you're doing the course. At first, when you do start a job, you're going to be on quite a low pay because as well, you're an, you're an apprentice, you're just learning, um, learning the trade. So they're not obviously going to pay you what an electrician would get. And then eventually, as you progress on through the college, your first and second year, you might be on a basic rate. As soon as you come into the third and fourth year, you're going to get um, maybe a bit more money, depending on what company you're working for. And then at the end of it, you should be on quite a nice salary. If you are good, you'll know that you're good, you know, and the work will keep coming in. And there's no reason why you can't progress to, you know, owning a company with 80 people working for you. There is no reason why not. Yeah, it is a good time to be an electrician at the moment. There's quite a lot of building work going up, loads of new builds going up. Um, but we don't do so many new builds. Now and again, we will do some new builds. But normally we're working on um, commercial jobs. And just now and again, we might get a phone call to do um, rewire someone's house. Or as we're in now, we're in a new extension. It's the hands-on, it's every day is different. You know, it's a very um, it's versatile trade that we're in. You know, we have to know so many different things. You know, it's not, a, you know, a plaster does plastering. You know, it doesn't, I don't feel a challenge with that. Whereas this, there's a challenge every day, so every day is different. If you really want to do this, get a job with a reputable company and accept that you will not earn a lot of money to start with. But if you are good at what you're doing, you will progress easily through it.